Give it up for Oz de Zool. Walking in Illinois. Anybody from here walking in Illinois? Yeah. Like, yeah? yeah? All right. Like 50 miles north of Chicago, along the lake, closer to Wisconsin. So I get on the bus, the city bus, one afternoon to transfer, go downtown, transfer to another bus to go out to Great America, the amusement park. I got this boom box with me and watch. And so I get on the bus and it's crowded, so I'm working my way back, and there's seats available all the way in the back. And there's this thin black guy with curly hair back there. And as I get closer, his smile is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. He finally says, man, it's so good to see you. I ain't seen you since you were little. How you doing, man? I, oh, okay. Wait, I, man, I forget your mother's name. It was our mom, Mary. Yeah, hi, it's Mary, man. She was always so good to me, man. Yeah, and, and so I sit down and we're talking, and I'm just like, okay, here's this nice guy sitting so over my mother, all right. So, and he's got his magazine on his lap, and there was this big guy that got on the bus behind me and sat down on the other side of this guy. So, the guy with the curly hair that knows my mother, he pulls out these playing cards. The Red Queen and Two Spades. And he starts playing three card money with this guy. And you know that game, right? You, they're all cards are face down, they're shuffled around, and you can win some money if you point, flip over the card, and it's the Red Queen. Okay, so they're playing. And this guy is winning and he's losing, winning and he's losing. And then this one time he loses, and then he looks at me, hey, brother, you know where it's at, don't you? Yeah, it's right there. Flip it over, Red Queen. I could have won something if I had been playing. He said, you want to play? You want to play? I know better than this. I've seen this on TV. <laughs> but he said, oh, brother, I I'll give you a free one. That that's all right. That's all right. So he turns, kind of pivots toward me, and then, you know, he says, okay, the Red Queen, boom, 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 okay, I point, flip it over, Red Queen again. And he's got this charm about it, he's, he's a nice guy. So he says, man, how about, you know, he pulls out this big knot of money, like I wouldn't see in rap videos for another 30 years. <laughs> um, and he said, money ain't nothing to me, man. I'm gonna put up everything I got you put up the radio, everything you got. Now this thing, this is the early 80s. It cost $300. I had that thing on layaway forever. <laughs> it had the dual cassettes in it. It was silver, it was beautiful. I am not playing for this radio. Well, what you got, man? How about that watch? Um, I got $2. Oh, come on, man. All right, yeah, all right. Shuffle cards around, flip it over. I got the queen again, I get $2. All right, how about, how about we play for the watch, brother? Okay, all right, so shuffle the cards, boom, 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 I point, flip it over, black spade. Now the humiliating act, taking off this watch and giving it to this guy that I'm convinced does not know my mother. <laughs> <laughs> but worse than that, that watch was brand new. I had shown it to a lot of people, and I do not want to have to explain. I lost that great watch that you saw a few days ago playing three card money on a 568 bus to downtown Waukegan, like I shouldn't have done. <laughs> I need this watch back. And so we're on the bus, we're getting closer to the downtown. The guy said, yeah, play, come on, man, put up the radio. Come on, be fair to me, man. I got this, I mean, I'm putting up everything I got. You put up everything you got. No, not the radio. I just want my watch back. And the guy on the other side, he's talking about, why don't we, can we and this, me and this brother pool our money together? Yeah, you put, why am I gonna pool my money with him 
And no, I'm not playing for the radio. And here is time to downtown, get off the bus. The big guy gets off with us. Now I'm clear, okay, yeah, he's the accomplice. Now see, I'm like 18 years old. And I'm asking this guy, what can I put up so that we can have like this gesture of kindness of you giving me my watch back? And I'm trying to like, telepathically or a moment. Like, come on, let's, let's make this like, like a, a hard lesson in being an adult. And I'll promise not to do this again. I just need the watch back so I don't have to explain this. Please. So how about $20? All right, $20. This guy's got to have a heart. All right. Shift the cards around, boom, boom, boom. I point, boom, black spade. God damn it. Twenty dollars gone. And we, this was all out on the sidewalk. And downtown Waukegan is a place where the buses run hourly. And there's about 15 minutes while they're all downtown for people to transfer and then they all leave again. And I hear the bus door closing. closing. Now, do I try to get on this bus or do I try to fool with these guys for the next hour oh, no. to get this watch back? <laughs> I hit the side of the bus and, and the bus door opens and I run and I get on the bus and just accept I got to go tomorrow morning and buy that same watch again. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. And didn't have to, the one friend I told about that, he laughed at me. And so, okay, no, no more than, no, no. Nobody's asking me about that. But some months later, I was watching the TV, and a picture of the guy from the back of the bus is on the news. Alton Coleman is wanted for questioning in the disappearance of a nine-year-old girl. And... He befriended somebody, stayed the night at this guy's house, borrowed his car, and it's been several days, and Alton Coleman has not shown up. So if you know where Alton Coleman is, alert authorities. But it got worse. The body, the abandoned, decomposed body of the nine-year-old girl was found in an abandoned building and more stories about who Alvin Coleman is. He had a history, up until I met him, of raping men, women, children. He had done prison time. He had beaten up people. He just had not killed anybody up until the time I met him. But he and his accomplice, Deborah Brown, went through five states, killed eight people, gruesome, like stomping people to death, not shooting, but stomping and strangling with bed sheets. Left two people for dead, several kidnappings, lots of stolen cars. And he was executed in 2002 by the state of Ohio, and Deborah Brown is serving time without the possibility of parole. But every time I see something, you know, I'm in Times Square in New York and somebody's playing three card money or there's somebody on the subway that's running that game. I just think, what did I escape when I hit the side of that bus and got on it and got my ass away from them rather than take my risk in a desolate downtown Waukegan with Alton Coleman? Alright, All right, now here's what we're going to do now, ladies and gentlemen. Oz was the last storyteller.